To win a Nobel Prize is one of the highest honors in the academic world. Scientists, writers, politicians, journalists, and others are nominated every year to reserve the coveted award at the Nobel Prize ceremony in Stockholm. While the Nobel Prize Foundation's committee is busy deciding who will be honored for their outstanding contributions to society that year, another group is making choices of a different kind. Satirical in nature, the annals of improbable research reports on strange events that have actually occurred in the realm of science. People who have made an impact via unusual or hilarious scientific study are honored annually. A ceremony honoring achievements that make people laugh, then ponder. This prize is presented annually in September at Harvard University. Number 10. A Researcher Lives as a Goat Foster, who went to Oxford University, has lived in the wild as a bird, a badger, a deer, an otter, and a fox. He says that the reason for all of his research is to find out who or what are we, and what on earth are we doing here? Thomas Twaits, on the other hand, had his own reasons for building prosthetic leg extensions and traveling to the Alps to live with a herd of goats. He says, I tried to become a goat to escape the stress that comes with being a human. The project became an attempt to see how close modern technology can get us to fulfilling an old human dream, to take on the traits of other animals. Number 9. Flying Frogs Researchers were able to lift a living frog 6 feet, or 1.82 meters, into the air using a levitron which is a machine made of two magnets that face each other and interact to create a magnetic field. Frogs weren't the only animals that could float in the air though. The researchers also made a fish float, as well as a mouse and some vegetables. Game is the first person to win both the Nobel Prize and the IG Nobel Prize. This is because he has a great mind and thinks outside the box. Number 8 Management versus Voodoo The team says that it is natural for people to want to get back at mean management, but direct retaliation may do more harm than good. What's the solution? Gather a lot of employees together, give them access to Voodoo dolls, and ask them to name the dolls with the initials of their bosses. Then, let's get to work. Using pins, pliers, and fire, the group was told to hurt the little toys while thinking of a time when their doll's namesake did them wrong. Those results speak for themselves. After beating up their voodoo dolls, the participants felt less unfair inside. Don't worry though, we think that none of the bad things that were done to the voodoo dolls affected management. Number 7 Insect stings to the penis for science. Unbelievably, a researcher decided to personally experience each sting. Using the results of his research, he made the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, which ranked each creature on a scale of 1 to 4. Schmidt said that the bullet ant's sting was one of the worst. He gave its sting a 4 and described it as pure, intense, brilliant pain like walking over hot charcoal with a 3-inch nail stuck in your heel. The other winner of that year was Michael L. Smith. He did his research into how painful a honeybee's sting is. Not just once, but 28 times all over his body, like the back of his knee, the arch of his foot, and his nipple. Number 6. Tanks for Solving a Parking Problem with the IG novels, it's not just scientists who get rewarded for their creativity. In 2011, Arturas Zuokas, the mayor of Vilnius, Lithuania, took to the streets to stop people with luxury cars from parking illegally and blocking the city's bike lanes, using an armored vehicle that looked like a tank. Zuokas was caught on camera rolling over an expensive-looking car and completely crushing it. Number 5 Narcissists and the Eyebrows Miranda Jacomin and Nicholas Rule both received a psychology prize. Their research was meant to find out if people with grandiose narcissism can be identified by only the thickness and density of their eyebrows. 
the bigger goal of the two people's research was to help others spot narcissists in their everyday lives and know who to avoid. Through their experiments, the researchers say that distinctive eyebrows reveal narcissists' personalities to others, giving a basic understanding of how people can recognize narcissistic personality traits that could be used in everyday life. Number 4. Can you smell bacon? People who have a serious nosebleeds that happen over and over again have tried a lot of different treatments over the years mostly involving packing the nose with different materials. In this case, four researchers decided to test out an old wife's tail, and it worked! Cured salted pork made into a nasal tampon and packed into the nasal vaults successfully stopped nasal hemorrhage quickly, effectively, and without sequelae. Number 3. Mystery Wombat Poop Bare-nosed wombats are marsupials that are only found in Australia. They look cute and are fat. The koala is their closest living relative, and both of them eat plants. But unlike koalas, their poop is cube-shaped. In fact, only wombats are known to have this kind of poop. And in 2019, seven researchers got together to find out what was going on. Wombats that South Australian drivers had killed in the past were brought in and dissected by the team. It was found that wombats don't have square bottoms, but rather round ones, and that the shaping happens inside the intestines. Some parts of the intestine turned out to be firm while others were soft. Number 2. Beards for Self-Defense Instead of hitting people in the face for science, Prosthetic bones covered with sheep skin were made for the experiment. Some of these samples still had their wool, but others had been shorn. They were then hit, and the pressure was measured. The results did indeed show that hair or wool absorbs a lot of blunt force. Some researchers think that, like male lions, male humans may have grown longer hair around the neck and jaw to protect these vulnerable areas from being attacked. Number 1. Decongestants or Erections The group says that a physiological connection between the nose and the genitals has been suggested for a long time. One of the men who did research in this area was an ENT doctor who was a close friend of Sigmund Freud. Instead of a strange Freudian link, however, the link between sex and clearing a stuffy nose may be due to the combination of physical exercise and the hormonal changes that happen during intercourse. Both of these things have been shown to work as a decongestant in the past. In both ways, the results were clear. If you have a stuffy nose, sexual climax can clear it up as well as a nasal decongestant for up to 60 minutes. Good to know before the cold and flu season. We hope you enjoyed the video, but now that it's over, what did you think? What deserves the most recognition? Leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, click subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more from us in the future. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.